with today's recommendation. I just want to give a big thank you and a shout out to all of you who left your comments in the five ways to be independent video. I was very nervous before I recorded this video because it kind of like takes a little away from the whack genre of things in the way that, you know, we've been doing stuff around here. And I was just like, oh, I hope this video goes down well. And I didn't want people to be like, yeah, ye kya ke gyan de rahe ya pe. But looking at the comments that I got, I think it went down pretty okay. So uh, maybe I'll try and do a few more like this, but I will also do my normal whack videos that I do because that's what whack's all about. So going away from the serious stuff, if you're in the mood for a little light-hearted comedy, then this week is recommendation is a mockumentary. <laughs> So this mockumentary is about a Wimbledon tennis match that goes on for seven days. So in true mockumentary style, it traces the history of the players, where they're coming from. It's got interviews, moments, all of that. And I haven't even given like one fourth of what you're getting into away, so don't worry. But one thing I do want you to remember is that when you press that play button, understand that you are watching slapstick comedy at its finest. They have done such a brilliant job with being, you know, that typical, like the comedy so bad, it's so good. It's, it's really just one of those. So it's British versus American. You've got your American player, Aaron Williams, and uh, that's played by Adam Sandberg. Um, he's been on Saturday Night Live in case you feel like, ah, this guy looks really familiar. But the one person that is like the greatest surprise and you're like, oh, what? He's in it? It's him! Kit Harrington! And you're so used to seeing Jon Snow as like this really serious character and you know, he barely ever smiles. And here he's playing the absolute polar opposite. He's this hot young tennis player who's really dumb, whose mother, you know, she shoved a tennis racket in his hand before he could even say mama. Uh, and she was like, Jao beta, I want you to be one of the biggest tennis players in the world. So it's really like British versus American and they've taken it further than just the tennis court, this rivalry, because it's been produced by HBO and they're American and they're clearly making fun of British comedy. There's these really like Monty Pythonist moments that take place and the Queen, oh my God, they have ripped her apart. They've made her into this hilarious character. She actually calls Kit at one point and she abuses the hell out of him and threatens him if he doesn't bring the trophy home. And you're like, oh, the queen, did she just actually do that in the tennis court in front of everyone? Yeah, she did. There's also lovely cameo appearances that happen. There's a whole bunch of people that take you by surprise. I'm not gonna give you like a whole list because then that would ruin it. But uh, my favorite cameo definitely has to be by David Copperfield because he's so random. You're just like, what? why is David Copperfield here? And he has one of the best lines ever where he says this. Oh, it seems crazy now. You gotta remember, this is before cocaine was illegal. Hilarious, right? <laughs> so, yeah, this is it. I want you to just watch it because you're gonna have such a blast. And thank me in the comment section later below. It's called As Seven Days in Hell. It's just released, so it's like fresh out of the oven. Uh, check it out and let me know what you think. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe, and welcome to the tribe. I was trying to do that in some really lame British way. Chuck that. I'll catch you again soon. Ciao. Mr. Musk actually said that artificial intelligence was like summoning the devil. What is it about artificial intelligence that's scaring everyone so much? Now bear with me on this one because not only is it a very tricky topic but it's also a very sensitive topic especially because we come from a land that has so many different religions and that's what I really want to talk about.